In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these 12 options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added this, uh, the 12 options here and I have put uh, the name of each month starting from January uh, till the December. You can add the text for each month here and you can add the main title or the headline here. Likewise, I've created one more design where I've just replaced the months with these numbers. So depending on your requirement, you can change the text and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this however if you are using the older version like 2007 or 2010 some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version like 2019 or office 365 so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw the oval shape exactly in the center. All right. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size, shape outline, no outline, and then align center, align middle. And I'm going to duplicate this one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, give some different color. Again, align center, align middle and then hold the control shift key together and increase the size so you can see here maybe this much size i need all right and then send this to back so then i'm going to cut this uh, this orange uh, oval shape into 12 pieces for that i'm going to insert one uh, stars and banners uh, the 12 point star you can see here draw the 12 point star you can see here something like this and you can see the small orange point drag this inside and then align center align middle so we end up getting a shape something like this and then here the line you can see the starting from here I'm just going to rotate it a little bit so it should come like this in the center all right so once this is done what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one rectangle draw one rectangle all right shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some different color combination all right and if you want you can reduce the width to 0 0.05 all right and bring it here and i'm just going to put it like this onto this one you can see here like this we just need to align it properly so that it fits perfectly on to these lines so something like this you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and move it the other side again make sure that you are aligning it properly press ctrl d rotate it for the third line you can see here again ctrl d make it for this one little bit alignment required here and then control D again for this again the last one all right so you can see here I have done this one now I need to delete the the stars and banners which I have added here so you can go to the home select selection pane and you can see this 12 point star I can select and simply delete this key okay close the selection section and then press ctrl a to select all the shapes go to the shape format merge shape and click on fragment so you end up getting something like this all right now let me just delete one by one select and delete so you can see here all the inside objects which i don't want i'm just deleting that one all right so one by one we need to delete it and here i'm just selecting and delete it so once this is done the outer part also i'm just deleting again select and hit the delete key from the keyboard all right and then you can see this one also delete it sorry press ctrl z delete it i just need to select like this and i can delete it let me just zoom in and delete that will be easiest way you can see here
press control z any mistake happened just roll back control z i think this is the last one so you can see here i have created this one or now it's all 12 individual shapes now now the next thing i'm going to add one oval shape in the center go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape exactly in the center align center align middle and you can give some different color shape outline make it no outline then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all the shapes except the oval shape and i'm going to give a outline for this one for the time being i'm just going to give some dark gray color shape fill make it no fill or you can make it white it's up to you whichever way you want if you want white make it white if you don't want you can make it no fill also so once this is done it looks something like this now the next part is now depending on your requirement you can just change the color of each the slice you can see here i'm just selecting one by one and you can just change the color any color of your choice you can see here something like this you need to do all right so just change all the colors and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to insert some oval shapes here where i'm just going to add some text later on so exactly here in the center okay shape outline if you want you can make it the same outline or you can make it same fill what you have done for this one okay so this one will be this color i believe and shape outline make it no outline so it looks something like this so now i'm just holding the control shift key i'm going to bring this down something like this exact location then press ctrl d i'm putting it here all right now let's see whether if i hold the ctrl shift key i cannot bring it here i have to bring it somewhat okay so i need to just align it properly or you can just do it ctrl d and add one by one okay ctrl d add one by one something like this so you can see here you just need to spend some time on aligning this part all right like this so again for this one i'm going to use this color okay which we have used again for this one i can use some other color purple or whatever color which you which you have put it here you can just add those colors here so i'm just randomly i'm just picking some colors here you can see here one by one i need to pick some colors or you can just go to any website and download the color palette that will be more easy for you okay so you can see here maybe some gray maybe some darker green or you can go to more fill colors you can just choose any color of your choice from this also again more fill colors maybe you can give this color and more fill colors all right so you can see here i've created this one now next what you need to do is you need to just change the color according to the color what we have selected for in the oval shapes you need to just change that one and then you can go to insert text box add the text either you can make it 01 or january february the month name also you can enter it make it bold increase the size and put it here press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here you can see here you need to just press ctrl d and if it is not visible you need to make it white color if it is darker background then the text should be light color it should always be contrasting okay press ctrl d you can see here or you can make all white also no problem with that so just quickly we'll add it and the last one here so this is one this is two so just change the numbers three four five and likewise you can just change the numbers and in the center you can add the 
headline center make it bold increase the size and put it exactly in the center so once this is done you can add some text either inside or outside depending on your requirement so insert the text box here and you can type your text here all right and then make sure to center align this one and what you can do is you can go to the shape format text effects transformation or transform and select this follow part the arc all right you can see something like this and if you want to just put it in the second line you can click it here and click it there all right so this is your text looks something like this okay press control control d to duplicate and then rotate it so you need to just control d rotate and put it something like this and make sure that it is readable also now if you are adding it here press control d so i want instead of uh, from this side i'm going to change the text effect transform like this which is the arc down and then i'm just going to rotate it like this so you can see here so which is more readable now we just need to align it properly so some text we need to do it like this all right so what you need to do is now you need to just copy and paste it across all the sections